everybody, this is Variant from iponblog.wordpress.com. Going to teach you guys how to customize your Windows XP. Real quick, really easy. What you want to do is open up Firefox or Internet Explorer, whatever you use. Type in UX Theme Patcher in the search bar. Um, open the first link. It should be a Softpedia link. Softpedia, it's a good site. Um, click, click Download. Um, click on the mirror you want to download it from. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to open that up. Downloads, Program DLs, UX Patcher. It's, it's an EXE, don't worry about it, it's safe. Softpedia is a trust, trustworthy site. It's updated really fast. Um, so what you want to do, it's the first one is you're going to see is just uh, info on the program. As you can see, it works with Windows XP, one Service Pack 1, 2, or 3, and if you're using Windows Server, it works with that too. So you just want to click Patch. It's going to give you your operating system, build number, and service pack. You want to, if this is mat, if this info matches your Windows system, click OK. Um, click that. It's going to... It's going to give you another window. It says, please wait about one minute to cancel Windows file protection. So basically what this is doing is it's taking a theme. It's taking the theme.dll file from this program and putting it into your Windows directory. And so that, so that basically unlocks the theme, allowing you to customize it. Windows doesn't like you messing with its DLL files, its core system files. But this is safe, don't worry about it. So what it's going to come up with a window that says um, something's trying to change your system files. To prevent this, please insert your Service Pack 3 CD or whatever, install CD and um, to stop this. But you don't want it to stop the installation of the file, so you want to click Cancel. And it says, are you sure you want to keep the, these unrecognized file versions? Click Yes. It's going to ask you, just press, click OK. It's going to ask you to restart like cancel. I don't really need to restart, but you guys do. Um, so there you go. You're all set up. You can download any. Um, a good place to get themes is DeviantArt. Um, just go to that site. I'm sure m many of you have been there. Click Customization, Skins and Themes, um, Windows Utilities, and Visual Styles. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of visual styles. It's crazy. Um, so just click one of them, uh, click download, save it, save it wherever you want to save it, open up wherever you saved it, uh, extract it, I already have it extracted right here, then just click the dot .ms styles um, file extension, whatever it might be, and it's going to pop up with this window, and um, basically you can change whatever you want, um, depending on what the style allows you to do. For this one, I can change the font size, um, and sometimes they will give you different font sizes, sometimes they'll actually give you different fonts altogether, um, and then sometimes they will also give you different color schemes. Then you just want to click Apply. And what it's going to do is um, basically just change your whole style. It might take a little while depending on your computer speed. My computer is running a little bit slow because of the recording software I have on right now. Um, just wait for it to apply. As soon as that's done, your whole world will be changed. Not really, but close enough. So there you go. You have it all installed. There you go. It's a different theme altogether. It's pretty cool. It's easy as that. Um, good luck finding the theme to fit your heart. Maybe. Uh, thank you.